sulfur, so let's do dimethyl sulfide. And this is the way we drew it with the circle, but now we've got the star, star of David. Let's see what we can do here. Six-pointed star this is. So with dimethyl, we're probably going to be on opposite ends. I think the lone pair would make that a bent molecule. See, the power of the star is we can make them bent. So methyls are just triangles, right? So there's triangle. Triangle. This is dimethyl. Di means two. Sulfide. Colorado Macerata. This would be like Superman here. Dimethyl sulfide. So that's a carbon. It's a carbon. These are lone pairs of electrons, so they're going to be fine the way they are. Where would we draw the alien then? We have two points up here, so draw an alien in between there. See? So each of the points is now accounted for. Lone pair, lone pair, two bonds. Now what does carbon get? If they're methyls, colored pencil, see this can come handy here. CH3, so there's one, two, three. Now back to our technique. If we're done with that, let's color it in. Trusty crayons here. Huh? Methyl's done. Three H's in the bond of the C. Color that in. So it's great. You do it last with the crayons. That way it doesn't bleed your ink. And if you do magic marker over ink, it tends to ruin the marker, especially with yellow. We've got to protect our yellows, right, because they'll get all dirty. So we could still kind of outline this in green because electron pairs, right? got the color coding, let's use it. It's going to be negatively charged, so that's our green color coding, right? Little green men. Since we're yellowish here, we'll use a, a different pea color green here. So this works out so cool that the electron pair, being the alien, little green men. I mean, what more could you ask for? So it's dimethyl. We only have one methyl here, right? So we got to get the other methyl, which is CH3. One, two, three. And yes, I did. I found all these colored pencils in the dumpster, too. These are great Cray Crayola ones, not the Rose Art cheapies. Nothing against Rose Art. Color it in. It's done, right? So here we go. And like I said, I'm leaning sideways looking at this crooked, so I'm not drawing triangles very good, diamonds very good, or coloring it very good. So that's the molecule. That's what it would look like. It may look childish, but even a college professor would understand it. So there we are, the six bonds for sulfur. So this is the new sulfur star that we're going to be sh using. We got the phosphoric star. The phosphorus star is five. This is six. So it's going to work out perfect. So we're going to finish with our 
the stars here. We had taurine we did the other day. That's when we were keeping the circle for sulfur because it was in the same family as oxygen. But the star is the way we're going to do this now. So let's redo taurine here. Colored pencils are picking up pretty good here. So taurine, T-A-U-R-I-N-E. So the first thing we do for the sulfur star, triangle, triangle, S, keep going up. So you can always outline in pencil. S in there and then outline and make this really glowing like a star. Now I picked this one because it's good with the green oxygens. What we're going to end up with, let's see, let's just get this going sideways here. So we're going to have, a, should we draw a line? We'll draw a line after. Diamond, diamond, triangle. That's all there is to it. Do the bonds last. This is a carbon, carbon, nitrogen. And these are simple now that we're used to them. Where it gets complicated now is over here, because what do we get? Two double bonded O's. need another O, but there's only one more bond for it, right? No biggie. Now, if it's got a single bond to the sulfur, it's going to need another bond. These greens are happy because they got the two bonds. So if you want to take a break and color them in, there's nothing wrong with that. We'll use a lighter shade of green here for that. So we have lighter colors when we pick up something that is all dirty. Even take the break and make it fun here. It's a two-headed alien, right? Two lone pairs of electrons on that oxygen out there. Whatever it takes. This is a more descriptive drawing than the traditional way of drawing the molecules. So this is why I'm totally behind this. It's artistic. It's using shapes. And it looks more colorful and fun, in my expert opinion. I'm really impressed with these colored pencils now. I did one thing on them and they weren't coming out very good. So the second bond on this is going to make this an OH, which is considered an acid when it's next to another oxygen there. So this should be familiar to you all now. It's an alcohol when it's by itself, but if it's got these oxygens near it, it's going to make the acidic part of the side chain here. So sulfur, six bonds. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Good and we're both greens. This light color green really isn't working out as good as I thought it would. I thought I'd save our dark green, but that's not going to happen. Okay. Lots of negative out on the end of this molecule, right? Little green man. Hmm? Oxygen, always think of oxygen, electronegative. Butter runs rancid, it's oxidation, it's the oxygen in the air that attacks the fats. So sulfur's got its six bonds, that's done. We have our yellow crayon that we found in the garbage that nobody wanted. Look kids, you guys can learn graduate level neurobiology from the garbage. Huh? Six bonds on that sulfur. Come up to the carbon. These are just methyl groups coming across.